Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Did you know that half of people impacted by MS live with chronic daily pain? When I went to medical school, my professor taught us MS doesn't cause pain. My professor was dead wrong. In fact, MS causes lots of different kinds of pain. In the first video in this four-part series, MS Hurts, I discussed multiple different kinds of MS-associated pain. Today, in part two, I'm going to dive deep into chronic pain, how it impacts your daily life, and importantly, what causes it. Now don't turn away, because all of that starts right now. Pain is one of the most invisible and yet life-altering symptoms of multiple sclerosis. It's something that others can't see, and yet it can have a profound impact on almost every aspect of your life. From working, to sleeping, to socializing, to just enjoying activities that you love. Imagine waking up every day and feeling like your left leg is on fire, or that your hand is being crushed, or that you have stabbing pains in your cheek. Unfortunately, this chronic pain is something that over half of people impacted by MS live with every single day. Chronic pain is unique because it oftentimes comes from damage to the central nervous system itself. Whether it's burning pain in a limb, or spasms and cramps from spasticity, whether it's intractable headaches, or back pain from abnormal posture, chronic pain in MS is complex. Question, how has chronic pain impacted you or someone that you love? Please leave your story in the comments section below. Sharing your story may help someone else feel a little less alone. Understanding the differences between acute and chronic pain is essential for management because each type requires a different approach. Acute pain is a short-term pain which serves as a warning signal for tissue damage or injury. It's oftentimes sudden in onset, it's sharp, and it's well localized. Acute pain will resolve when the underlying issues resolve and typically only lasts days to weeks. Common examples of acute pain would be things like injury, infection, or post-operative pain. In the setting of multiple sclerosis, we commonly see acute pain when there's bouts of inflammation, like an MS attack of optic neuritis or transverse myelitis. Chronic pain persists for three months or longer, and is oftentimes caused by damage or changes to the nervous system, or an persistent inflammation where pain signals are amplified after the injury or the underlying problem has already resolved. The character of chronic pain can vary wildly in nature. It can appear as dull, throbbing, aching, burning, crushing, freezing, or throbbing. The intensity of chronic pain can fluctuate, and it's oftentimes associated with other things like fatigue, sleep disturbances, problems with mood and cognition. Chronic pain doesn't just affect physical well-being. It has impact in emotional and social aspects of life. It can limit mobility, it can limit participation in daily activities, and diminish overall quality of life. Key takeaway. Acute pain is like a fire alarm alerting you to danger, whereas chronic pain can be like a broken alarm which is sounding endlessly. Differentiating between the two can help guide treatment strategies. Short-term pain oftentimes requires short-term interventions, whereas treatment of chronic pain can be multifaceted and rather complex, requiring medications, lifestyle adjustments, and several other advanced therapies. Question, what's helped your chronic pain? Was there a particular therapy or exercise or mind shift which helped you? Drop your answer in the comments section. Your answer could really make a world of difference to someone who's watching this right now. Chronic pain is a complex condition involving persistent pain that lasts beyond the usual course of healing, oftentimes defined as pain lasting beyond three months. The pathophysiology of chronic pain is multifaceted, oftentimes involving changes to the central nervous system, an aberrant immune system, as well as psychological and environmental factors. Let's go through several of the key mechanisms which cause chronic pain. Central mechanisms play a significant role in multiple sclerosis-related chronic pain. When there's demyelination and damage to the central nervous system, this can result in something called central sensitization, where the nervous system becomes hypersensitive and even small minor stimuli can cause massive intense pain. 
It's kind of like a microphone that's turned up way too high and the distorted sound is overbearing and unbelievably loud. But that's not the whole story because the immune system also plays a big role in chronic pain in the setting of MS. Inflammation doesn't just damage myelin. It also activates microglia. Microglia are resident immune cells, meaning they live in the brain. You can sort of think of them as like the brain's cleanup crew. They become activated when there's damage. But in MS, their responses can go overboard. These activated microglia can release inflammatory chemicals, things like cytokines and prostaglandins, which literally irritate nerve cells, causing them to fire pain signals more easily. It's kind of like flipping a switch always on. Over time, this persistent and constant irritation can lead to chronic neuroinflammation, which in turn sensitizes the central pain pathways. Now this creates a nasty feedback loop where the pain sort of feeds itself, making it harder to treat and much harder to control. There are also psychological mechanisms of central pain. So let's talk about the mind-body connection. Psychological and emotional factors play a role in the way that we experience pain. Depression and anxiety, which is unfortunately very common in the setting of MS, can literally amplify our perception of pain. Moreover, fatigue and cognitive impairment can further lower our pain threshold, making everything feel worse. And then there's catastrophizing, a psychological response where you magnify the intensity of the pain and you underestimate your ability to manage it. You may catch yourself thinking things like, This pain will never end or there's no way that I can possibly manage this. These thought patterns don't just make you feel overwhelmed. They literally create a feedback cycle which intensifies the pain and can destroy your quality of life. Learning to break this cycle is critically important for learning how to manage chronic pain. Question, what role do you think mental health plays in your pain experience? Please leave your answer in the comments section below. It's so important to understand the bigger picture of chronic pain. Chronic pain isn't just a symptom. It's actually a disease state in and of itself. It stems from complex interactions of damage and changes to the central nervous system causing central sensitization, an aberrant immune system causing neuroinflammation, as well as psychological factors. Treating chronic pain requires a multidisciplinary approach which addresses both these biologic and these emotional factors. If you're living with chronic pain, know that you're not alone. Schedule an appointment with your neurologist or your pain specialist this week. Make sure to watch the next video in this series where I teach you how to monitor and properly track chronic pain. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content. Until my next Monday morning video or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.